In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how our staff listing macro works. So I've created a staff page and I want our web services staff to appear in our body content area. So to begin, I've just put my cursor in this body text region and I click on the macro button, which is this orange with the bracket. So it says insert macro. And from this list, I'm going to choose staff listing. If this is for a faculty page, we have a separate macro for faculty, but this is for departments. So from here, I'm given two different options here. I can choose username list, where I individually list people according to their username, or I can just simply choose the department. So I'm going to choose the department. Web services is on the list. I'm going to click OK. And there we are. And you can tell it doesn't look very attractive. It's not formatted very well. But when you save and publish and you view it online, our style sheet kicks in and formats this in a nice format. The other option in this macro, rather than selecting the department name, that puts everyone in alphabetical order over here. Some departments prefer to have this ranked according to the office hierarchy. So if we wanted to do that, we'd have to list people individually and use this username list. So from there, I would just type in their usernames in the order that I wish people to appear. And you separate each name with a comma. And click OK. And if you just notice that, it reshuffled those names for us. Save and publish. I'm going to go over here and check it. And now it has reordered our name. So let's just say somebody from this list left USI. They're no longer working for us. So then I can just select their name or names. Hit delete. Click OK. And then it adjusts that for us. So that's how the staff listing works on our website. If you make changes in here with this orange dot around it, It'll let you change the text, but you cannot save it. It will not let you alter this. You have to make changes this way, or just by simply selecting the department name. So that concludes how our staff listing macro works.